this uh, uh, retinaculum is what Re retinaculum is a latin word that means to retain to the um, to prevent the buckling buckling of the tendon during dorsiflexion to prevent the buckling of the tendon on the anterior aspect there is retinaculum which retains the tendons and the muscles so there are two retinaculum at the level of the ankle joint nearby there is superficial uh, superior extensor retinaculum and the inferior extensor retinaculum there is a 3 cm broad band it is attached medially on the medial malleolus as well as the anterior border of the tibia here lies the anterior border that's why it is the medial surface and this is the lateral surface so anterior border of the tibia as well as the medial malleolus on the medial side and the lateral side superior extensor retinaculum is attached to the lateral malleolus and the anterior border of fibula and the structure passes uh, behind the retinaculum is from medial to lateral there is one mnemonic that is that the himalayas are not dry places the means t t h e the means tibialis anterior himalayas h h for extensor hallucis longus r r means artery that is the anterior tibial artery not not means nerve that is deep peroneal nerve dry dry means extensor digitorum longus d for dry d for digitorum longus and the places that is the peroneus tertius all these muscles are going from medial to lateral these are the arrangement and often asked in the exam now coming to the inferior extensor retinaculum it is y shaped band the stem of y is attached on the lateral aspect to the upper the superior and the lateral surface of the calcaneum superior and the lateral surface of the calcaneum and now this stem it it is of uh, this stem of y has got two lamina two lamina the superior lamina and the inferior lamina it is divided here you can see this is one lamina and this is another lamina okay this black one is another lamina and in between these two lamina these two tendon lies that is the peroneus tertius in white color and these are all black ones these are the tendon of extensor digitorum longus okay now it again unite unite into one and then it give two part two leaf superior leaf and the inferior leaf superior leaf passes superficial to the all tendons and get attached at the medial malleolus okay and this inferior leaf it is again again giving two lamina this is the superior lamina here you can see the superior lamina and this one is the inferior lamina just to show i have not attached this tibialis anterior this is the here you can see this is the inferior lamina this one is the uh, yeah yeah this one this is the inferior lamina of the inferior leaf of the inferior extensor retinaculum so it carries one muscle that is the tibialis anterior and where it get attached the beneath which lies extensor hallucis longus tendon and the artery and the nerve okay and now it get attached over the plantar aponeurosis on the medial side the inferior leaf of the inferior extensor retinaculum is attached to the plantar aponeurosis okay so this is the arrangement 